Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual LASIK Eye Surgery. I am Dr. Susie. I'll be guiding you through a LASIK eye procedure today. LASIK eye surgery reshapes the cornea to provide improved focusing power and reduce a patient's need for glasses or contact lenses. LASIK is performed with a special laser that's used to change the shape of the cornea, the part of the eye that controls and focuses the entry of light. By doing so, we can focus the light so that the patient's vision is improved. Our patient's already had her preliminary exam. Her prescription hasn't changed for more than a year, and she has no history of eye disease or injury. This qualifies her as a perfect candidate for the surgery. We want to make this procedure as pain-free as possible, so we'll use drops to numb the eye. Can you place a few drops into her eyes? Even with the numbing drops, it's possible that the patient can feel pressure and mild discomfort, but they do help with most or all the pain. Debris can complicate the procedure, so we need to make sure that the area around the eye is clean. Now that the area around the eye is clean, we'll use a device called a speculum to hold the eyelid open wide. So let's get that speculum over the eye. If the patient was allowed to blink, we might cut or burn the wrong area. At this point, we'll also mark the cornea with a water-soluble ink to guide replacement of the flap. Now we place a suction ring over the eye. The ring sucks the cornea upward, making it easier to cut. The patient's vision will likely dim and blur while the suction ring is attached. For this next step, we're going to slice open a flap on the cornea. To make the corneal flap, we use a mechanical microkeratome. This is a fancy name for a blade device that's attached to the suction ring. We slide it across and it cuts the top 20% of the cornea. Here we go. Slide the microkeratome along the track to create a thin flap in the cornea. With the corneal flap cut, we remove the microkeratome and suction ring and then peel back the corneal flap to expose the middle part of the cornea. This is the part we'll reshape with a laser. The computer-controlled laser is positioned over the eye. By analyzing our patient's data, we've pre-programmed the laser to tell it how much corneal tissue to remove. A flip of the switch to fire up the laser and the reshaping process is underway. Pulses from the laser will correct the shape of the cornea in less than 60 seconds. The laser makes a slight clicking sound and you might notice a faint smell similar of burning hair. And that's it. Please fold the corneal flap back into the original position, making sure our ink guides match up. Nicely done. While you were working, I went ahead and took care of the other eye. We will observe our patient for several minutes to assure the corneas bond correctly. The cornea is quite amazing in this respect. It will be bonded back to each eye in moments. Even with the corneal flap bonded back in place, the cornea is still vulnerable and could dislodge if the patient isn't careful. That's why we put a clear protective shield over each eye. This keeps the patient from bumping or rubbing her eyes. The patient will notice the improved vision immediately or as soon as the numbing drops wear off. She may now be driven home as she won't be able to drive for a day or two. She'll come back within the next 48 hours so we can remove the eye shields, test her vision, and examine her eyes to make sure everything is healing up nicely. And there you have it, another successful surgery. You can see more of my superior surgical technique and my other procedures here on SurgerySquad.com.